in this question we have to we are given the value of cos x cos x and the x is given in is in quadrant 2 quadrant 2 and we need to find the value of sin of x over 2 cos of x over 2 and tan of x over 2 all right so uh, <clears throat> if cos x is given then definitely we can find sin x because uh, if sine is nothing but 1 over cos x so sin x from here will be 1 over 2 1 over 2 so if sin x we got sin x can we find cos x yes definitely because cos square x is nothing but 1 minus sin square x so that will be 1 minus 1 over 25 so this will become 24 over 25 cos square x so the value of cos x will be taking square root both sides we have root of 24 over root 25 is anyway 5 but uh, will cos x be positive not really because in quadrant 2 cos is negative so we are going to place a negative sign and if we simplify 24 that's, that will be uh, 24 24 can be written as 4 times 6 over 5 this will be uh, 2 root 6 over 5 and this is the value of cosine of x uh, but this is not something which we need that's an intermediate part to uh, intermediate thing to what we need now we can use the half angle identity half half angle identity so half angle identity says that cos x will be 1 minus 2 sin square x over 2 so from here if we rearrange 2 sin square x over 2 will be 1 minus cos x and that's where we need cos x so uh, sin x over 2 is uh, is will be what positive or negative so let's find the range of x in that case so if uh, is it's given that x is between 90 and 180 and if we divide both sides by 2 we have 45 x over 2 and 90 and clearly uh, x over 2 is like coming as less than 90 and more than 75 this means that it is in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 1 all the trigonometric functions are positive Okay, so uh, let's substitute uh, cos of x now. So that will be 1 minus minus 2 root 6 over 5. So this will become 1 plus 2 root 6 over 5. 2 sin square x over 2. So the value of sin square x over 2, 2 sin square x over 2 will be 5 plus 2 root 6 over 5. We divide both sides by 2 so that will become sine square x over 2 is 5 plus 2 root 6 over 10 taking square root both sides sine x over 2 will come out as root of 5 plus 2 root 6 over 10 and since we have sine x over 2 we can definitely find cos of x over 2 because cos square x over 2 will be 1 minus sine square x over 2 so that will become 1 minus 5 plus 2 root 6 over 10 because the outside square root is just uh, gone because there is a square already here so if we take the common denominator as 10 that will become 10 minus 5 minus 2 root 6 which is 5 minus 2 root 6 over 10 uh, this is cos square x over 2 and again if we take square root both sides then cos x over 2 will be root of 5 minus 2 root 6 over 10 <clears throat> so the value of tan of x over 2 is pretty much straightforward because that will be sine of x over 2 over cos of x over 2 so sine of x over 2 is root of 5 plus root of 5 plus 2 root 6 over 10 over this will be root of 5 minus 2 root 6 over 10 so this root 10 and root 10 is cancelled and finally we are getting the exact answer as in terms of radicals as root of 5 plus 2 root 6 over 5 minus 2 root 6 that is the value of tan of x over tan of x over 2 thank you